हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ फुल स्टैक वेब एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग रिएक्ट जेस्ट एंड गो फाइबर फ्रेमवर्क सो दिस इज अवर एप्लीकेशन एंड आई हैव एडेड फ्यू सी एस एंड आई रिफैक्टेड अ कोड अ लिटिल बिट एंड डोंट वरी सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन वट आई डिड एंड बाई द वे सो दिस इज अवर एप्लीकेशन आई एंड आई थिंक लाइक इट लुक्स लिटिल बेटर इज एंड इट so never mind i was just kidding and uh, actually so you can modify as per your own requirement on ui on design so this is just a simple uh, application and previously our application was looking very odd with a very simple black and white stuff so that is why i added this stuff so now i think so in this session so definitely so uh, like uh, we can we will be using a uh, i will add a little a spinner so whenever like our api that might take some time so by the time we are getting the response so we will show a spinner kind of thing here a loader kind of thing and the moment we get the response so we will uh, render this uh, 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 this list okay so let's dive into our vs code and uh, by the way i'll explain what i did so first of all so i'll start with the index.js or oh, sorry index.html so here actually i added this uh, uh, font awesome so i am using like uh, for this uh, little icons for the youtube and the github so i added this uh, font awesome library so that we can have the nice beautiful icons and uh, next so i modified a code a little bit, a little bit like i added a component directory and uh, inside that uh, i created my idea was that whenever like uh, a common stuffs like images icons and other stuff so we will we, we might create our own specific components so that can be shared that can be reused across the uh, we can reuse in at uh, some other places so i created this components directory and inside that so i created a layout and uh, here i am get, i have created this two uh, uh, components the header so it we will have this header and uh, a footer component is also there so this is the footer and also i made a little change in the our uh, uh, this uh, home.js uh, component so here right now so actually i simply removed that stuff so previously we were having uh, this header bar here so that was the and also i added uh, this uh, app.css so i will share that in the github so don't worry so uh, you can check out my that uh, this project github page and they will uh, get all the code so right so let's now add work to add on the uh that uh, loader screen right so we will close this what is not needed so now let us work on that so first of all so i am going to create a state variable to hold the state so i'll start with a const and uh, we will have a loading and uh, it we will have a set uh, let's capital uh, in javascript actually it's better to have the camel casing loading so there is a typo and uh, use state and by default i am marking it as a true cause we are uh, loading the api i mean we are calling this api the moment the page our component gets mounted right and uh, once our uh, this uh, uh, api response we receive the api api response whether it, it doesn't matter whether it true or false so we will set it to false reason being that uh, we are telling that we have received the response fine and uh, also this one and uh, here basically so we will need to uh, install uh, not not install rather so we will use the uh, again the we will plan to react bootstrap and uh, we will we are using actually bootstrap 5 so let's we will head to components 
and uh, we will have a spinner so this is so first of all actually we will need to import this so we will copy this and we will paste it here and uh, and our idea is that uh, we will return the this the in the return part so actually we are going to return conditionally so we will check if loading is true then uh, uh, then we will return uh, i mean actually so uh, since if if loading is true then we will return the spinner otherwise we will return the our regular api uh, contained fine so we will return and uh, so there are uh, several spinners available so we can use any of them but i am going to use this one too. so actually this looks fine to me so we will copy this and uh, we will simply paste it here and uh, actually so we will we will need to make it inside a container for so that we can we, we want this to be uh, at the at the very middle right so and uh, i'll move this to a little up and uh, uh, i'll also add one uh, class that i already created for this spinner so that was the work the class name was uh, this one spinner so very simply where were we so yes we were here so this time if we refresh our page so actually nothing happens and the uh, reason being that uh, we will need to we can simulate that api this one because everything is running on my local machine so that is why we are uh, i mean you are not uh, getting it so let us simulate it that this api response is taking is going to take some time so we will add a sleep and uh, we will have time dot milli not microsecond rather make it millisecond times 500 so this way so our api is going to wait for 500 milliseconds and you can see like uh, the moment uh, our we are getting uh, our api response so we are having this loader so we can also increase this time as well let's say we will make it 1500 so uh, our api is stay is going to take 1500 uh, milliseconds to respond and by the time we will get that we will receive the response so we will have this uh, that's that uh, i mean growing uh, icon though that uh, growing or a spinner kind of thing and the moment we receive our response so we will uh, that uh, spinner will be uh, will go away so this looks okay so and when our application we are we are achieving a lot of things and uh, we are uh, concluding to a uh, I mean real time application so it looks to be something like that so I hope you enjoyed this session and uh, and if you have anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and if you like this session so please uh, 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 you can know if you if, if uh, you haven't yet sub subscribed so please consider to subscribe and uh, that's all for this session so I'll see you in some other session so till then take care and happy coding.